All right, we're gonna drill a hole to the peak You're using a 2.78 mil bit. All right, next we're gonna cut the thickness of the seat. We're gonna cut it around 450. Little etch mark on there. Uh, you see, by this section. We're going to press and bond our leak seat. All right. We need to, uh, some kind of, to place on a chuck, on a vise, so you could, we could press it in. I'm going to use a chuck. Just barely snug, not clamped on. Is this something to, the seat to sit on while we uh, tap it and tap it and press it into into position. You gotta apply your adhesive. It could be any kind of Loctite. It could be red, but I'm using quick set black one. There we go. Tap it in place. There, we're gonna let it cure. Well, next step is to screw on to the double female on the rod. All right, now we're going to uh, screw the new seat and pin to the double female on the rod. We put some uh, thread seal on the threads. Just enough, maybe a little more. Oops, it's gonna. All right, we're gonna screw it anyway, even though there's too much Loctite, but the rest will get squeezed off. Screw it. By your hand as far as you can. See, so yeah, the pin's starting to turn. Now, to get it tighter, I need to get a little, uh, you can use a chuck, a small vise in the middle to hold it, just to jam it in place. All right, let me get a, you get a vice grip here or a chuck to clamp on and just snug it up. All right, hold on, let me get it. Oh, found a vice grip. All right, All right it seems to be tight right there. Just gonna wipe up the excess. Adhesive here. Now we wait about, about five minutes to completely bond. Then we're going to uh, Cut the OD and we're gonna do a chamfer taper the back end so it would flow around the seat faster if it's tapered. Right, we'll do that next after the next. Right, now we're gonna chamfer the seat. 
Now we're going to uh, cut the whole D. Now we're going to polish the leak seat. Remove all the excess glue. And we want to polish the ceiling surf in of the seat. We use 600, 800 grit. This is a 3M sanding cloth. And we'll use 1200 and then 3000 and we're right. done polish. Here's our new uh, peak seat. It's way harder and you could make it narrower between the seat so it'll, it'll have better flow and it'll last a lot longer because there's the whole rod you could purchase on ebay that's how they look easily uh i cut a bunch of seats and replace my old ones sometime uh it just goes through the valve seat when i bore the bore out the seat bigger so i want something a little bigger and it doesn't get damaged. So this is how I replace them.